Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm gonna share with you my top five tips for organizing your kitchen super fast and gaining even more storage. My first tip is knowing your organizing style, and I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks throughout this video for your style, but let's first talk about your counters. If you're a cricket or a ladybug like me, you want your kitchen counters to be pretty clear of anything but if you're a visual bug like a butterfly or a bee the odds are you love to have the things you use on a regular basis out so you can grab them quickly so knowing your organizing style is important especially for a space like your kitchen because you don't want to take the time to organize something just to have it not work for your style even if you are a visual bug I'm gonna recommend you only keep the things out you use on a daily basis on your counter IKEA makes a ton of really inexpensive and practical options for you visual bugs so you can keep things right out on the backsplash, easy to see, easy to grab, but you're still not taking away from your counter space. My next tip is going to instantly give you a lot more space in your kitchen and make things easier to find and you can do it in like five minutes. And that is to take things out of the boxes. There are packages that have packages inside like granola bars and fruit snacks and cake cups. It takes up so much space having these half filled boxes in your pantry or in your cabinets. So I really recommend getting a basket for kids snacks or quick snacks dumping all of them into one basket, getting rid of those boxes, and doing the same thing for your K-cups or your teas or whatever it is that you use that comes in a package with little packages inside. The outside box is taking away so much space. You'll be amazed how much more room you can have. My next tip is containing like things in a bin or a basket. Things like pasta or spices or rice, things that are a lot of little things but they're all the same category. You're going to save a ton of space by putting them in a basket. It's also gonna be really easy for you to just pull that basket down and sort through. I definitely don't recommend this for everything because sometimes baskets can create more work than they do save but for those things like pasta and rice and small perhaps little baking spices or sprinkles when you have lots of like little bags of different sprinkles it really is convenient to keep them in a basket in your cabinet you can also fit a ton more so it's taking advantage of that vertical space in your cabinet as opposed to having it all spread out taking up unnecessary amount of room. As a ladybug, I'm basket crazy, but they do work. But again, if you're a visual bug, opt for something that's low, so like a tray so you can see exactly what's inside, but still take it down or something clear and definitely label it so you don't forget what you have. My next tip is to do a quick purge of your kitchen. And I'm talking about those ugly Christmas mugs that you never use or those extra set of dishes that are literally collecting dust or those appliances that you thought you'd use but the truth is you never do like your blender or your food processor it's time to let those go or at the very least relocate them to another spot in your house like your basement or a storage room so you can free up some space for the things that are sitting on your counter that you're not using every day like the I purge all the time, yet I'm constantly finding new things that I can let go of, like this. If you haven't used it in a year, it's time to let it go. My next tip is to quickly rearrange the pantry. You're gonna be amazed at how much space you can gain just by doing a quick rearrange. So stack your soup cans, contain things like rice and pasta together in a basket. Take those prepackaged things out of the box and contain them all into one basket and purge that expired food and those rock hard marshmallows. Doing a quick rearrange of your pantry is something that you should do every six months just to make sure that you're really maximizing the space. My last tip is to take advantage of inside your kitchen cabinet doors. Invest in some 3M hooks or some industrial Velcro to attach things like those dollar store drawer dividers. They're perfect for holding little packages of gravy or seasoning mix or those 
squirt things that add flavor to your, I don't know what those are called, or your measuring cups, whatever it is, you can really maximize the space by taking advantage of this forgotten spot in your house. It makes it really, really visual, easy to grab, and will free you up some much needed room in your kitchen. Now that I've shown you some of my organization in the kitchen, if you are a bee or a cricket, you're probably cringing because everything's like thrown together in a basket all mixed together. Don't worry. You can make it perfect inside and sort things into categories and keep it neat and tidy. But I definitely do recommend using baskets and containers to maximize the space inside your kitchen cabinets. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, about the different organizing styles, I'm gonna put a link below where you can take a test to discover your organizing style and what clutter bug you are. It really can help when setting up and maintaining organizing systems in your home if you work with your natural style. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I thought I would do a quick little end thing talking about some of my favorite kitchen gadgets. Just because I don't have a real rant involved, I kind of hate cooking, so I like things that save me time. And so obviously my favorite is the Instant Pot. Instant Pots are amazing. They are great for people who have ADD like me and want to put something and walk away and have it done in 20 minutes and it makes like the best roasts and stews and all that kind of stuff and I, it's like no work from me. I can throw it in the pot, I can push the button, I can leave, it starts beeping at me when it's done and dinner tastes amazing and my family appreciates it because everything just tastes better in an instant pot. So it's definitely one of my favorite kitchen gadgets. Another favorite kitchen gadget is this thing from the dollar store. I know, you know, peeling an apple or slicing an apple is no big, but I love sending my kids apples in schools, but they're apple snobs. They'll only eat it if it's sliced. Plus, Milo knocked out all his front teeth, so there's that. So this, from the dollar store, it slices down the apple, the apple stays intact, you can throw it in a Ziploc bag, and it won't go brown. I'm telling you, best dollar investment ever. Next, I super love this tray. I actually picked it up at a thrift store and I have a couple of them, but I've seen it at Walmart for just $20. This segregated little thing, it's awesome for when you have company over and you wanna have like cheese and crackers or you wanna have salad bar night or smorgasbord or just like put out a bunch of snacks. I'm telling you, I don't know, it makes me feel like Martha freaking Stewart when I bring out this tray. And for 20 bucks, I think I only paid seven or something at a thrift store. Worth every penny though. You have to get one of these. So that's it, I'm not really a kitchen person, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't really cook very, I can't think of anything else I love, so I'll just stop at those three. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.